Yoga problems! Yeah, I got them. Oh, I got them, folks. Seriously got them. The problem of the day, my yogi friends, as I back out of the garage, deftly attempting not to hit pedestrians or other vehicles. Parking garages, man, that's the problem. I will say when they get here early, it's not a problem. It's, it's a beautiful thing. It's vacant. It's just so spacious. You could park anywhere. But in a few hours, this place will be a zoo. And is it me? Is it our cars getting bigger? Are spots getting smaller? Or is it some hyper combo of both? I don't drive a big car. I drive a small car. I mean, it's a compact little Subaru. It gets me around point A to point B, as they say. Oh, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. That was unpleasant. Thank you for... You gotta be very careful when you come out of a parking garage. Oh, because people might be walking on those bikes or scooters. There's like freaking hoverboards. I saw some dude on a, like a unicycle the other day with a handlebar mustache. And I was like, come on, man. Come on. What am I, what are we doing? Are we going backwards? Are we reverting? Are we... I don't understand some of this stuff, bro. Handlebar mustache, unicycle. What's next? Like the old school bicycle with the one big wheel and the small wheel? You know what I'm saying? No. No! <sighs> the problem of the day from a yoga perspective is... Um, it's not really a problem. It's more of a, just a situation, man. You know you're getting old. I'm approaching 50 incrementally, as we all do. And... Um, I don't recognize the music as much anymore, man. I, I never did because I'm not into that new age stuff as much. Oh, there goes my, I got just a reminder. I got to end the workout. I got about 10 extra minutes of workout on my watch. That happens more often than not. I need to get, I need to get better at that. When the class is over, turn the watch off. Otherwise you're getting credit that you don't deserve. Don't be a slacker. Come on, man. I like how the watch, it beeps, it like buzzes to remind you. Hey, slacker, turn me off. You're not doing yoga. I know you're not doing yoga right now. You're driving in a car. I, I can, this thing knows everything. How, these, how does this stuff know? How does it know? I could be in Shavasana. Why does it know? Oh, because I'm moving. It's you're tracking me. How, how does it even work? I'm one of, you know, billions of people on the planet. I don't even want to go down this path right now. Back to the problem. The problem is the music, which is fascinating. Music's important. Music can soothe the savage beast. Music is essential. And can very, very much augment or diminish, in some cases, any yoga experience, as I'm sure that many of you can attest. But as I age into uh, the half-century mark, it's not that close. I'm only 48, man. It's not quite around the corner yet. But my, my birthday's coming up in October. Anyway, it's on my mind. It's on my mind. I, there was a couple songs in there. So sometimes it's a throwback. And it's, have you ever been in a yoga class where you like the music? You really like the song. And you kind of want to sing. I'm a, I'm a karaoke fiend. I love it. I haven't gone in a while, man. I got to get out there. But when they bust out something like they did today, I wanted to sing. I wanted to just jump up and sing. What do you think the song was that was so that animated me in such a way? It's a strange song to want to sing, frankly. I've never done it, but I got the idea that I should do this in karaoke sometime. I think it would be hilarious, especially like late into the night after everyone's prepared for that type of experience, so to speak. The song was by the Cranberries. Yeah, the Cranberries. Playing some Cranberries at yoga. That was one of the about... I don't know, two or three songs that I recognize out of the entire playlist today. And so I'm doing, you know, figure four, all this stuff, and I'm like, God, I don't even know any of this music. I talk to myself in class in my brain. I don't 
I'm not in a, I'm not in a state of peace and nirvana and like just, I don't, I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Just sit there? I know. You, I have, I thoughts are racing. It's hot out. I'm in pain. I'm suffering. I'm trying to distract myself from the situation. But when I hit the cranberries, dreams, baby, dreams. I have a rule. I have a couple rules in my car. If I'm on the radio or if I happen to have a playlist going and you pull into a parking lot and you're ready to get out of the car to go shopping or whatever your intention was. But if you have a song like Dreams that's playing and it's like, you know, halfway through, you've just got to keep listening to it until the bitter end. Because let's face it, that song at the end is so money. I'm not going to replicate it here, but I think you know what I'm talking about. I, I should be a freaking Cranberries cover band. I actually was thinking about this. I want to learn. How, I'm working on the banjo. I'm trying to get better at the banjo. I would love to play a bluegrass version of Dreams by the Cranberries. Is it the Cranberries or just Cranberries? I think it's the Cranberries. That's important. Some bands are like The Doors, The Rolling Stones, The Beatles. Actually, The might be the number one title of any band Like that, that's always going to lead into it. But it's not like The Guns N' Roses, right? So everyone's got a different vibe on that front. That's all I'm saying. Everyone's got a different vibe. But today I was listening to The Cranberries... <laughs> like Ohio State University. The Cranberries. Goodness gracious, what a day. What a day. I love it. I love hot yoga, man. It just pumps me up. Ah, uh, cranberries. Yeah, yeah, da, 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 da. I'm like, ah, I'm in a triangle. I'm on fire. I want to scream. I want to sing. I want to, but I can't because that would make me look really foolish. So in my brain, I'm going, yeah, yeah, da, 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 da. It actually kind of helps me because as that in the moment it was not quite to the peak of the class, but it was close. <laughs> yeah, man, I had a great time today. And then, then there was another weird song which I've heard before. Yeah, I do not. It must have been years since I've heard this. I don't know who sings it. It sounds like a boys to men type track. I'm pretty sure it's not them. I think it's more modern. It's like Usher or something. And it goes. I had to commit this to memory. I was listening to it. I was like, I got to remember this number, dude. I got to remember this number. 525,600. Is 600 minutes or 200 minutes? I think it's 525,600 minutes. That's the number of minutes in a year. What do you do with your life? You know, like that sort of song. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't strike me as a yoga song, but I, I, I roll with it. I liked it. I was like, yeah, 525,000. Then there were some other songs. I'm like, I'm not joking. It's, it sounded like chipmunks on acid with a little reggae beat in the background. I have no idea what that song was. Then there was some like Shabba Ranks or something. I was like, what is going on? What is going on with the track? The soundtrack today. It's not a problem. It's just a, it's just a thing. It's just a thing, my friends augment or diminish today it was just like a confusing moment but i had a good time with it i rolled with it i got through it i felt pretty good about class today the instructor pointed me out a couple times as they're prone to do i see you rob you know that feels cool when, it, when and the yogis are like they say they do this to everybody it's like total psychological trick they're just trying to mess with you man wow what a day what a day Hot yoga for the win. Soundtracks all the way. I'm back. So until next time. Now my slay mofos.